But guess who else just scored a flick? The flick master himself, Flores. Oh, he's got the ceiling shot as well. That was a good early challenge by Telecto, but not early enough. Talked about this before on stream. Ceiling shots are becoming more and more viable in ones because the defender has to challenge early or else the attacker holds all the cards. Jesse is just sitting on those two kickoff goals right now. He's not Happy able to get anything else working. And Bluey, meanwhile, is threatening yet again. He's got him up 5-2. to two. And although it's early days yet, not just in this series, but also in this game, Ahmed has a lot of improvements to make. Look at that dunk, though. That's just going to go in. What a block by Ahmed on Fairy Peak's attempted clear. He really did dive a lot to the right there. Oh, Fairy. Completely denying the sideways clear. I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not. I think it is. Or is he a distant air dribble? He's looking for riddles. Can he find him? Yes, he can. And even though Riddles might have seen this one coming, look how difficult this is to stop. What a play by Over Zero. He dipped away from the ball very early, but it's still so hard for Riddles to get past him. We have in the next month. Cheers for all the content home. Hey, Arm Devil, thanks so much for the. Was it eight months? Yes, it is eight months. Look at the moves from Sharif with the 360 into this into this uh, setup. Styling on rattles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just wanted to sit back and watch that one. Although it was a great game. In that game, we had rank 1 against rank... Or we, in, in the game before this, we had rank 2 against rank 30 or something. Or rank 25. This one is rank 1 against rank 19 or so. Look at that placement by Flores. He is not holding back. He's not giving up on these ceiling shots, is he? Gets one touch. Rotates around. Puts it in with the dodge to the far post. Jesse wanted to concentrate on playing today. He was unhappy with himself the last couple of days. Oh my goodness. Well, he's going to be happy with himself now. 7-2. Jesse shows Alpha how it's done. Leans right back into the flick and then puts it straight over Alpha's head. Can AJ get a goal back here? Rani has always been the winner of close series. Oh my goodness, AJ with even more aggression. I think we had a ball cam glitch here, but um, AJ absolutely meant this this bump. Look at this. Flipping into Rani just as he arrives at the goal. He left the ball behind him. In a form improved this is a spam about beans types. for anybody who can't hear it. Bluey with another game. bump goal. You've got to be kidding me. That is 10-2 and what a way to do it. Using Jesse's own weapon against him and I want you guys to know I wasn't the only one watching that replay Bluey's name was in the bottom corner thank you <laughs> thank you all you people who have to leave but have supported the stream Sharif needs to do a little bit more here and he does perfect continuation off this wall shot by Sharif look at this from Wrestle's POV Sharif just keeps on lifting the ball and the air roll does lift it into the net that might be goal of the series so far both in the bump battle and also the mind game battle. Oh my goodness, what a 50-50 at the end of the air dribble as well. Control is on point for the Pinkman. He's taking a day off to work on improving himself and trying to get back into the swing of things. He's looking pretty good right now. Thanks for remembering me, man. Appreciate that. Flip reset for Rettles from close range. And this is becoming more and more popular. We saw this yesterday from first killer, Rettles does it one better I think what a play um, like that shot that is about as badly as I expect 30 peak to miss any shot today look how quickly he recycles though before scrub is even thinking about danger 30 peaks turned around backboarded it to himself and double touches it in like nobody's business and he's had a lot more experience and a lot more time to mellow out as a human being that is an excellent flick by OSM. Xander trying to play the shadow defense as well. He missed the boost to the midfield. Couldn't make up his mind if he wanted to use the wall or the floor there. Didn't really do either. Not the best read in Rani's challenge though by AJ. Can Rani post pinch this in? He won't even try. AJ with another vicious bump. This time on the wall. Look at the recovery by Rani though. He's straight back into the play. And he's looking for a ceiling shot. Oh my goodness, Rani! With the recovery of a lifetime, gets bumped, grabs the boost, off the wall, flip reset, or no flip reset rather, but just a 
continues this almost air dribble. I, I, I hesitate to call it an air dribble. Can Rapid keep up the consistency though? That's two top shelf shots in a row. What a flick that is by Taroko. Rapid way out of the game. Taroko does put it on target. Oh my goodness, what a save by Rapid. Somehow coming off the wall and getting a ridiculous save and the pre-jump save to back this one up as well. Oh my goodness, Rapid. That's the only way that you can get your replay analyzed through the the wonders of YouTube. Look at the dribs by Flores. It's completely annihilated uh, Fairy Peak twice in a row now from the deck. And still, I'd say the only player in the world who can compare to Flores' ground play is Dapper. OSM, after that demo, had the open net, should have scored. Simple as that. Xander, though, off the deck. What a shot that is. Punished immediately. Xander flies down and really cleanly catches that on the half volley. OSM is going to have to turn for more challenges. Very similar to Devo in his prime when he was playing at his best. Side flip shot for Taroko is going to bring a great save out of our skiller, but a save nonetheless. Again, Taroko has the ball at the side of the field. Side flip shot again gets saved. Recovery from first killer. 62 boost to his name. Another great save by first. What defense by the young man. 23 boost for Taroko. He's sticking around. The shots are just not good enough though. That's of course the danger of dodging in Rocket League. So telegraph where you are going to be to your opponent. What a shot by Farky. That was about as opposite as you can get from a telegraph play. Incredibly challenging to defend. Look at the placement as well. Bar down from Farky in any 1v1 game. Taking that long to check what your opponent is doing is often a misplay. AJ looking on point with the rebound though. From the moment he made this first touch, you knew. You knew he was scoring. It looked on point. Great timing. Rani respecting the double touch, but was always going to be second best. Great goals coming in here at game two to get back into the play, but is he going to be able to do anything about this? Shri finally has a shot. 360 dribble with the backflip this time. He's outdone himself again, Sharif. Three, or 180 rather. And then double jump pops it right over the top of Rettles. This is insane. How many montage goals are we going to see if he had just had a bit more composure on the kickoff he's so with a half volley almost on the catch there and he's reset his flip on the ceiling are you kidding me Ixo is just all over the place up the wall off to the ceiling back down to the goal again all in the blink of an eye and that is the best goal that we've seen all series Justin, I expect, will transition into LAN environment no problem because all the other players that are like him did transition with no problem. I'm thinking Garrett, thinking Squishy, Gimmick. Riddles has his flip. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Riddles. No way! He does get it in. And over zero must be absolutely bamboozled by what, what just happened. A turtle catch into the crossbar. Immediate recovery for the air roll, air roll finish. Sorry, I almost said shot and finish at the same time. I do think this series, or this match, might have turned into Ahmed in damage control. He might just be trying to stop Fairy from scoring more at this point. Oh, never mind. He's not in damage control. He's just in damage mode. That was incredible. It didn't even look like he was supersonic, but right in the last second, he got that acceleration on the back wall. I'm not going to type in case I get distracted. <laughs> I was, I was going to type something. Oh, having a stream a couple hours late. Yeah. Stupid internet, man. Oh my goodness. First killer with the point blank range flip reset goal. What a play by first. That is absurd. And I would love to watch that replay a second time just to see Taroko's reaction. Ixo trying desperately to get back into this game. We've got a... Uh, no, uh, no ball cam ceiling shot apparently from OSM and it's gonna work of course we know better we know he's using ball cam here but that's pretty comical as <laughs> OSM going down off the ceiling doesn't hit the ball before it bounces I I told my editor to make one and he was like I right, let's try this one for a bit it's super easy to change those emails these days Randy might just go for a double demo here decides instead to just run the ball around the pitch he's given AJ bit of his own medicine. Hold on a second though. AJ with the demo and he's going to equalize. 
Ronnie decided to go for the possession play and AJ says thank you very much. Let's do a lap and put it in the blue goal. We have a tight game and we have an overtime. Alpha escapes his wrath and now he's going to run down the clock with uh, some aerial play. Scoops it over Jesse to make it a four goal game. And we're going to have a tight series. Look at the elevation that Alpha is able to get on the ball. Bounces his car off the deck on the way in. Well played. Has to intercept the ball in the back wall uncomfortably. Now AJ has him exactly where he wants him. Takes him out of the game with a casual flick. Even knocks a second off the clock in the slow dribble. And AJ, in like a role reversal from game one, is able to take Forky out of the game from behind on the day of. Oh, Flores. I, was, I could see him leaning forward looking for this. I wasn't sure if he was going to make contact. Brutal air dribble demo by Flores. He's almost inside the ball when he hits this. <laughs> Giving the ball to Rettles so freely and Rettles with the mind game. What a series we're seeing here. Both players fighting tooth and nail mechanically and mentally. You have my respect. If you're just turning off cross-platform so you can only play against PS4 players. Oh no, Monkey Moon, what? What has he done? He didn't think the ball was in and he saved it. Oh no! <laughs> I feel so bad. Rettles is actually nuts. Is he in a team? I'm not sure, in fact. I don't know. Surely from the rebound. What a save by Rettles! He comes flying down and stops this one dead in its tracks. I have to save another replay here. This is incredible. Now, I did say at the start of last game, and I want to defend my statement, that I thought Sharif had to win last game to have a chance because Top Cheese was playing so solid. He was just playing a very consistent style. Oh my goodness, Sharif forcing the own goal, maybe. Gets it on the reverse. Are you kidding me? This entire play is so smart by Sharif. What a flick in the midfield. And then playing 4D chess on the goal line with his opponent because when he's just playing heads up, when he's playing straight up 1v1, Chippy looks comfortable. And when Chippy's got a two goal lead, that is uh, dangerous. Look at that dodge by Chippy to knock the ball middle and secure the boost. That is fantastic play by Chippy. An absolutely exquisite first touch. To, to beat Flo Flores, Flores, I don't know I can't speak today. To beat Flores to that boost was so, so difficult. And it's Top Cheese, who's completely up against the ropes. Is Sharif going to start one of these crazy comebacks that we've seen him do? What a save! Top Cheese coming back with a great bump, though. Excellent plays by both players. Sharif, firstly, to avoid this aerial bump attempt and still make the save. Top Cheese, excellent recovery inside the goal. It's been story time stream. Sometimes we have that, and then people... But actually, back in the day when I did that, when I would just stop talking about the game and talk to you guys, all of the comments on YouTube would just be like, can you please commentate? I need somebody to do play-by-play. -play. These days, it's not done happen so much. Nice flick fill there by AJ. These guys have upped the flick quality the further into this series we've gone. And this shows just why it can be a dangerous thing to turn your back to somebody who's this good at flicking. Good finish as well by Farky. Top corner and versus first killer. You know it really could happen. First killer looking for the demo. Taroko boosting through the air, but first killer finds him on the back wall, recovers to center it, and puts it in. Well played here by First Killer. He did not just stop looking for that demo. He chased him all the way. Excellent recovery as well off the wall. Centering the ball in the same touch. AJ still, I think, about to take his first ever 3-0 sweep. Vandry's been there with him for most of the series, but he's always been an AJ shadow. And that is the third flip reset ceiling shot from AJ. Look at the placement there. Vandry trying to make that adaptation. He Rettles panicking that made it look like it was almost a goal scoring opportunity. Rettles pressuring this with absolutely no boost to speak of. Steals Sharif, but Sharif, what a bait by Sharif! He leaves his boost up in the corner. Rettles comes in to get it to even up the boost game, and Sharif just puts it into his net. What a play! Apart from Neat Mike's fans, they're all. Uh, the kind of people who Snapchat their Fortnite wins. Oh my goodness, Fairy Peak with a double up and out miss. Not that it matters, because he's already winning by five. Excellent Here's speed once again from AJ. Moving around the field masterfully with no boost. And look at that for a shot. 
Does this guy know how to slow down? I don't think so. Perfection with the air roll shot there from AJ. Top corner. Sparky has a candy car. You're not wrong. Long shot by Taroko. Able to test first killer's goalkeeping for distance. There's the bump from Taroko. First killer drops the wow in the chat. This is the first time that Taroko has gone for this strategy. Bumps the ball on target slowly and then follows through with the aggression. Xander is a little bit flustered by this situation though. You see another slow recovery. Great flick though, he's gonna secure the game. Holy cow. Did he step it up when it mattered? Couple of bad landings, but how about that? OSM wasn't too far away from it, but that was just too good from Xander. And we're gonna go to game four here. That was really, really clever. He faked a hook shot, passed it to himself off the near post, and got the finish. And he's completely changed his tune now. Delayed ceiling shot from Monkey Moon. Completely baiting Ahmed into a pre-jump. I do appreciate that a lot. AJ is going for so many high-risk plays. Is he going to get the bump? Yes, he is. No way. AJ ceiling shot into the flying bump attempt. Made contact with Rapid's car. And unfortunately for him, the ball was off target. There we go. Rapid is going to turn it right back around. And scored a ceiling shot of his own. This is going to look really, really difficult to save from AJ's perspective. He's just really got no idea where Rapid is shooting that. Definitely his own game to win or lose, but what a challenge by Flores. He's read Chippy's mind and he's got another open net. And it is, oh my goodness, gonna get saved by Chippy. You should be the last one to complain about lists. What do you mean? My lists are great. I just, I don't, I, I think his list was like pretty accurate. Apart from putting Squishy ahead of me, that's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, top cheese. With goal of the series. He did not wait long after getting his flip reset to use it. Look at that. This car has barely let go of the ball and it just hugs it into the top corner. Rels might go off the ceiling here. Yes, he will. Has his flip. Sharif has been an early challenger of ceiling shots. Oh no, Sharif has just own gold. I was about to say Sharif does like to challenge ceiling shots early. But here... He just gets it all wrong, completely on the wrong side of the ball and put it into his own net. OSM stops the ball in his own goal line. Very close to conceding. He's completely missed this open net. What on earth was that? And he, not only that, but he's gifted Ixo an open net of his own and he's missed it. What is this? Disaster. But is a 50-50 in your opposition corner the right idea when you're losing by two and you've only scored one? Well, Flores says no it isn't. Gets an incredible ceiling shot to make, it, make a statement and a half. We're going to see this one better from Chippy's POV. Look at that by Flores. 78 kph. Capitalized. I like it. Is this a rip? We've seen Sharif come back from three goals down in a much worse situation than this, but it really is looking rough. Look at the placement. On the backboard pass here from Rettles. Right above Sharif said. And he did not waste any time in going in for the rebound. He smelled blood in the water. You really think that they would have let me sub and have world champ. Johnny Boy. Or world champion season 2 title. Oh my goodness. OSM's done it again. And that's going to be the, probably the end of the series right there. Absolutely brutal. Twice in one game. And he is trying desperately to hang on to this two goal deficit so that he can then start to come back. Rettles is popping off though with the rebounds. This one from a very tight angle. How about that from Rettles? Well played. And it has been just a series of very, very intelligent plays. Oh my goodness, AJ's going to finish this one off. But Forky. Again, able to outsmart his opponent. He had a flip reset here, but he didn't really need it, as the ball was already past AJ. Before he just left it, that didn't happen. That's mean. I, that definitely didn't happen. Good save by Monkey Moon. Ahmed looking like the more threatening of the two players. As we approach overtime, Monkey Moon keeps the ball alive. Has he really done this? Chance on the open net. He really needs to work hard, though. And he does! 
Monkey Moon with a huge play. What a bounce. And the control was there. I believe he needed that last touch. He did. That was going to go straight down into the ground. And it was not going to... Or we were going to go to overtime. Much better, of course, to keep the ball out of his own net. And then deal with the follow-up. He's got to make another zero second goal happen to have any chance of winning this. He's got the outplay though. No way. AJ versus open net dribbling challenge number two. And this one started off with a flick outplay on zero seconds. You've got to be kidding me. He just needs to hold on for another 10 seconds. And we are going to go to a game five. It's been the scrappiest game of the entire series, but a game with Jesse currently has the lead in. And how about that to finish it off? Jesse gets the outplay off the wall and we are going to a game five, guys. Jesse somehow able to get enough elevation on that ball. Demos could be a big part of this last game, but look at the speed of AJ nipping around the field like there's no tomorrow. Oh my goodness, the ball's barely going to stay out, but how long? Farky gets the save, are you kidding me? to uh, a close match at the end. First killer flick. What a save by Taroko. He can't have had much boost there, but look at this recovery. <laughs> and another great fake 50-50 Taroko. He is counterpunching so well. In this game five, no boost to his name. Fades away from the challenge. M-Dog takes it 20 wham, months wham, in a row. Ball chase challenge by Forky. At least gets a little bit of a volatile 50. And the Demo from behind saves him again. Forky is hanging on here, leaving Bluey in a disadvantageous spot. But can Jesse make anything of it? The flick is the best one that he's had all series. And what a time to dip into his shot selection and pull that one out of the bag. Differential here between Rettles and the win. Sharif has a very difficult shot, but he puts it in. This man will never give up. He has got 11 seconds and he still needs another goal. Look at this from Sharif off the backboard. One touch and a second one. Goal of the series. Who has misfired again and Jesse surely can find it. No, he's double jumped. The half flip by Blue is going to get a goal. Oh my goodness, and he missed it. You've got to be kidding me. What is happening? Jesse double jumps over the ball. Bluey misses a wide open net. And now Jesse spawned underneath the ball and he can actually save this from going in. He is up for an aerial, looks for the double touch. Fairy Peak not yet challenging. Scrub Killer not quite on target, just yet at least. Third time lucky. And that is some excellent shot selection by Scrub. The bravery to not just go for a double touch with a minute left, but go for a double touch in front of Fairy Peak's net. Are you kidding me? He's got enough boost to close the distance to the ball, but he's done a really bad first touch. This is going to be so awkward for AJ. Looking for the air dribble, and he puts it in! You've got to be kidding me! AJ salvaged a terrible first touch by air dribbling the ball off the near post and into the goal. It would have even hit the... It would have even gone in if, if it hit the ground. I can't even speak. Unbelievable stuff from AJ. Still though, Jesse in control, and he has been for large parts of this series. Gets Bluey to the same spot yet again. This time he's looking for the bump, and he finds it! The shot that's evaded him all series is going to come to save him when he needs it most. And Jesse's watching the replay. Not just to safety, but in such a location that he can attack. Scrub Killer somehow keeps it out. Fairy on the rebound. Double save by Scrub. The man who found success almost every time he jumped off the wall and every time he jumped off the ceiling in game one has been punished for doing just that in game five. And now he needs to score before the end of the countdown or keep the ball up. He is doing both right now. But Jesse looks like he's got the save. Bluey on the rebound. Puts a shot on target. You've got to be kidding me. As we get stuck and forced, fix camera. We should have known that it was on target. Bluey with the air roll rebound, five all. Fairy needs a single goal in order to take, take the series and beat Scrub six series in a row. And that's it. Fairy Peak has done it again. And Scrub Killer with the GGs will dip out the lobby. He was so close. But he just cannot beat this man six times in a row.